Welcome to F1000 Insider. I'm Dustin Hodges. This weekend, Summit Point Motorsports Park played host to the penultimate weekend of the 2018 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racer Tire. And wow, what a weekend. The points battle is heating up. Summit Point proved to be an amazing track for Formula 1000 cars as drivers put on a phenomenal show for the many fans that were in the stands and camped around the track on this beautiful Labor Day weekend. The schedule was shaken up a bit from the traditional race weekend with round 9 qualifying and the championship race being held before lunch on Saturday. With a damp and drying track from overnight rain, championship drivers took the track at 8.30 a.m. for Saturday qualifying and it was the number 14 G-Label's Mayor Motorsports JDR of Jose Gerardo coming out on top for pole position, followed closely by the number 13 Sunrise Solar Solutions Furman of Doug Hertz and the number 77 Technotech's Mayor Motorsports of JDR of Alex Mayer would round out the top three. When the green flag flew on round nine, it was a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle between the top three with Mayer and Gerardo swapping positions multiple times. Hertz would slowly fall back and leave Mayer Motorsports to take another 1-2 finish with Alex on the top step and Jose coming in very close in second place. Mayer would also take home the Sunoco Hard Charger Award moving from third to first. Both Area 81 and Hamilton Motorsports are continuing to develop their new twin 2018 JDRs with 2017 Suzuki engines. Tim Pierce and the number 81 Waterfall Security Solutions Bricky JDR would end up in fourth with the number 93 CSI leasing EPCUSA.com of Steve Hamilton retiring on lap 8 with mechanical failure. Now let's check out the podium from round 9 guys. of the 2018 North American Formula 1000 Championship. So, uh, Alex, uh, you uh, started third, went to first. You guys had a great battle. First lap, you were three wide going into turn three. How was the day, man? It was awesome. Like you said, we were three wide, and then I think we were almost three wide again going through five. And then I started run down Jose, and Jose and I had a tight battle all the way through the race. We were side by side in places we probably shouldn't have been side by side, but, you know, what the heck, why not? Following the round nine championship event, all the drivers gathered for random drawing awards and social. With the race being held before noon, drivers and teams spent the afternoon relaxing in hospitality with grilled chicken wings, roasted peppers and corn casserole, bacon and ranch potato salad, and much more from RTP trackside catering. And just as every championship weekend, every driver wins thanks to cash and prizes from wonderful companies such as Taylor Race Engineering, Sunoco Race Fuels, MPT Industries, Young Blood Racing Wheels, Hurley Racing Products, Wolf Motorsports, Real Tech Racing, Rebel Gears, VisorCamUSA.com, and of course, American Racer Tire. Now that's a lot of sponsors and prizes. Sunday morning would once again be a damp and drying track from the overnight rainstorms, and once again it would be the number 14 G Labels JDR, Jose Gerardo on pole, followed once again by Doug Hertz in the 13, and Alex Mayer in the 77. Tim Pierce in the 81 and Steve Hamilton in the 93. A noontime race for round 10 on Sunday proved to be sunny and dry despite the threat of rain and it was once again a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle between Gerardo and Mayer. Hertz would spin off track very early losing touch with the leaders but would recover to climb through the field for a third place finish. In the battle of the development programs, Steve Hamilton and Tim Pierce would switch places from Saturday with Hamilton coming home fourth and Pierce in fifth. Both drivers' teams are working hard to develop those brand new chassis engine packages. Now let's head on over and check out the podium from round 10 of the 2018 championship. Guys, have a good time and congratulations again. There you go. Now that was a spray. Thank you. Watch this score. With only one race remaining in the 2018 championship, Alex Mayer has secured his third F1000 professional title. However, May behind Mayer, there are close battles throughout the points. With a win at Mid-Ohio last month and a string of second place finishes, Jose Gerardo has moved into second place behind his teammate and ahead of Steve Hamilton in third. Doug Hurst has continued to climb the points and is not far behind those two. Now for the last spot in the top five, it's even closer. Three drivers, Mike Myers, Riley Harris, and Tim Pierce, are all within two points to earn a spot in that coveted top five and be a featured driver for 2019. So who will be featured in the 2019 promotions for the North American Formula 1000 season? 
Find out when the series closes the 2018 championship this November 3rd at the American Road Race of Champions held at Road Atlanta. For more information about the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by American Racing Tire, visit NorthamF1000.com and follow the series on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at NorthamF1000. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Dustin Hodges for the North American Formula 1000 Championship. We'll see you next week as Right Turn Racing TV heads to Watkins Glen for Trans Am and SVRA.